Well, hey, y'all. It's Dan. I want to welcome y'all to my home in the sticks. I hope everybody is having a fantabulous Monday and a Monday afternoon, and it is cloudy. Let me show you that. Looks like, ooh, looks like it wants to rain. And that's a good thing, because, man, we got a bunch of things to do this afternoon. First thing I need to do is I need to tackle this thing over here. Look at that. I need to get ahead and I think we all cleared up of uh, cucumbers for the season, possibly. Got a bunch of them still on there. Uh, them jokers like to hide, you know that. And I actually need to get into this uh, purple hull pea bed. I think we have just a little bitty small picking left to do, and I'm going to do that. But uh, let me get geared up and set up, and I'll show you what I'm going to do. So give me a second. All right, y'all. Yeah, may have to put this video on pause because I felt some raindrops, and I need to, like, Go over yonder under shelter because I got all this equipment out here. But first thing we're gonna do, number one thing we're gonna do is we gotta we gotta recover all of these tomato clips. Um, that's gonna be a little chore in itself, but that's cool, no big deal. And then we're gonna rock and roll on. So you may have to do this video. Uh, we'll restart this video here probably in another I don't know hour or so because. Oh, Felt another raindrop hit me. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Can't film in the rain. Well, not with this camera. We can get the other camera out and maybe film in the rain, but you probably ain't gonna be able to hear me. So, uh, give me a second and we'll rock and roll back into it. Well, hey, y'all, it's Dan. Uh, I had a show sure enough video that I was gonna put up today, but. Uh, Mother Nature just decided that uh, she wanted to do our thing. Uh, last I heard, we are under a severe thunderstorm watch uh, near my area. It's been lightning and thundering like crazy. So I said, you know what? It's not even worth trying to get out there and shoot a video when it's thundering and lightning and raining every now and then. But what I did want to do is I wanted to give you my opinion and I guess we can call this a review because I've been using this uh, for several months now to do my videos and I just wanted to give you my opinion on it uh, just in case somebody out there may want to use a GoPro for blogging so let me point you down and uh, well, let's see I hope you can see everything let's see let me see what it looks like yeah, that's going to work. I don't know how the light's going. But <clears throat> uh, this is the GoPro Hero 5 Black. They also have the Hero 5 Session, which is the smaller GoPro. And video-wise, this thing is awesome. Uh, it does a real good job doing time lapses and it has some stupid crazy uh, video that you could actually shoot with it. Uh, this camera is actually good to shoot 4K, but of course uh, I, don't, I don't really shoot any 4K with it. Just for the mere fact that I don't have a uh, system now that's gonna be able to keep up with uh, editing 4K video. So I shoot a lot of my video in uh, 1080. I probably could shoot it in 2.7, but I really shoot it in, I, I mainly shoot in 10, 1080 for the most part. And from what I've read and understand, YouTube actually, and uh, don't quote me on this, but it's a few things that I've read, um, they kind of download and I think 720, I believe it is, that I don't know. I have to double check that, but uh, I read it somewhere. But the video quality on the GoPro Hero 5 is just really, Hero 5 Black is outstanding. 
I normally run this. And what I'm not going to do is I'm not going to get into all the settings of what this thing will do. Uh, there's plenty of videos out there. Uh, all this is is just uh, a short review on my opinion of this Hero 5 Black because this is my main camera that I shoot a lot of my uh, my vlogs with and stuff around uh, my home in the sticks. I shoot it with this camera. 90, right now about 98% of the time. Um, it, it just, it, it takes really, really good video and it's, it's always in a focus mode. So everything comes out really clear. The downside to the Hero 5 Black is the audio is just awful. I have um, modified this case, I don't know if you can see it here, and up on top and on the side. Uh, the Hero 5 has uh, three microphones. And I run, most of the time I run, when I'm running this on a chest strap, I let GoPro, I let the Hero 5 figure out which audio setting it wants to use because it's going to pull from one of these microphones. And this thing on a chest strap sounds really good. This thing on a head strap, uh, mounted to your head or on a cap, a baseball cap, something like that, sounds really horrible. Uh, you don't believe me? <laughs> Watch a couple of my videos uh, when I tell you that I'm mounting this thing to a head strap. It just sounds awful. Uh, battery life is really good on these things, though if you do decide to go this route, I do suggest you know getting a couple of extra batteries. They're not that expensive. They're about um, I think 19 bucks a piece. Uh, you can get them from all your, your local box stores. Um, you can get get them mainly from you can get a lot of it from like Walmart or uh, Best Buy. But if you look at your settings and you don't use GPS and you dim the display down to about 50 percent, the battery will last uh, quite a long time. I actually have a battery pack that I could hook up to this thing if I'm going to do some time lapse uh, shots. I can do that, or you just make sure you have you know some spare batteries. Um, the as far as the audio on this thing, I have tried three or four different mics to run on this GoPro. Uh, I've, and all of them were Rode mics actually. R-O-D-E, Rode Microphones. The one microphone system that I found that works really well with my setup is the uh, Rode Filmmaker Kit. It's the wireless kit and it works really, really well with this camera. Uh, thus far, I have not seen any videos of uh, anyone doing any vlogging, anything like that with the setup that I'm running. Uh, you never know, it, it, it may start happening. The, and what I'll do is I will get my other camera out and I will show you Uh, and I think you, I think I've, I've done a video on it uh, about what I was using. But now that I've used this setup for several months, three months, something like that, I think I can tell you what uh, this thing has done for me. Now, the downside of this, these things are a little bit on the expensive side. The Rode Video, uh, video Link Filmmaker Kit is a little bit on the expensive side. But what I can tell you is, if you decide to, to uh, get into a DSLR camera, a 70D, 80D, uh, a T6i, something like that, you can actually use the Rode Video Link system on the DSLR camera. So it's not like it's just proprietary and stuck to just the GoPro. You can actually run the Rode Video Link uh, Filmmaker system on a wide range, a wide variety of cameras. It just works really, really well on this camera. Now, then again, I have an aluminum chassis that I run my GoPro on that has a hot shoe mount on or a cold shoe mount on top of it. And to actually 
mount the receiver to the aluminum chassis for the GoPro and it just works out really good audio is real good and I can't say anything you know bad about uh, any of the microphones that uh, Rode puts out because they work really really well it just took me several microphones to figure out which one would actually work for me but all in all I will say that yes you can use the the GoPro to do some vlogging because uh, a that's what I'm vlogging on right now and it's a little expensive to get into but uh, in the long run you, you just you can't beat these things the small uh, the hero 5 black is waterproof to I think 11 feet uh, without having to put the uh, I don't know what it's called GoPro has so many different accessories but it's the uh, thing that you put it in to go deeper kind of like a uh, wetsuit or something like that um, so yeah and I guess in a bunch of my videos you've seen me walk around outside Oop, you heard that thunder I don't know if you hear it but uh, a lot of times I walk around outside in the rain with this thing if I'm harvesting carrots or I'm checking up on stuff I'll mount this thing to a to a, a chest strap and I just get out there and walk around with it um, and on a final note uh, for those wanting to go with the GoPro I have found that like with the um, the USB 2 to 3.5 millimeter uh, accessory I don't know what it's called it's what you need to be able to run a microphone it's on a hefty side it's like 49 50 bucks for that piece uh, there's several different ones on the market there's a bunch of them on Amazon uh, what I will tell you is don't waste your money because it's not going to work uh, GoPro has pretty much cornered the market on what you can use on their GoPros uh, as far as the chest strap head strap things of that nature yeah you can use off-brand stuff but what I found is in for me is just to use GoPro labeled things for my GoPro cameras I know it's going to work and I don't have to worry about worry about having any failures when I'm videoing so yes you can use this thing to vlog uh, it's quite small it fits on a, a tripod quite nicely or a tripod slash selfie stick which I hate to wear a selfie stick but I'm using the Polar Pro Tripler and it works wonderful with it and it will mount to a full-sized tripod if you need it to with the proper mounts and GoPro has a ton of mounts for this thing you could just you know mount it on your head on a helmet you just do all kind of stuff with it but what I will tell you is in closing that this now I give it two thumbs up is showing off good camera if you want to do some vlogging you know around your homestead around your home place if you live out in the sticks like I do but uh, y'all I hope everybody is doing well and fantabulous today even though we're under severe thunderstorm warning but hey it is what it is if you like this video give it one of those give it a thumbs up consider subscribing if you want to show sure would like to have you a subscriber and we will see you and y'all in the next video